Okay, um, this is going to be a test of my barricade from six feet away using 32 Smith & Wesson hollow points and um, the left chamber has uh, soil in it and the right chamber does not. So I'm going to test fire it from about six feet away. Okay. Let's see here. And we'll take a look and see if we can see exactly what. Okay, you can see this is on the right chamber or the left chamber with the soil in it. And this is the right chamber without any soil in it. So let's swing around and see what we got here. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any deformation on the right hand chamber. I'm sorry, the left hand chamber, the chamber with the soil in it. And on this one, you can see where the bullet at least hit on the side there. It doesn't appear as if it completely penetrated. Okay, I can see right here. Okay. So, if nothing else, I think that demonstrates that the bullet is not making it anywhere through on the uh, left-hand chamber, the chamber with the soil in it. So it appears as if it's actually uh, doing what it was designed to do. Okay, granted, this is not the uh, most powerful. This is my uh, Ruger SP-101 firing 32 S&W long from Georgia Arms. You see two shots. And yeah, I just wanted to give it a shot and see exactly uh, how it would perform in its duties. And at least in this uh, first test, it seems to have passed the muster. All right, thanks for watching. And let me know what you think about my uh, barricade or my backstop. You see a little spider there. It's possibly a brown recluse. I'm not a spider expert. It's a big sucker though. Um, and all told, this barricade cost me quite a bit. Um, a little more than I was anticipating paying, but it was something that needed to be done. I uh, built it in this configuration because I knew I was going to be doing it by myself. I wasn't going to have any help to do it. It needed to be done and uh, it was the best I could come up with uh, under the circumstances. And as I said, everything is treated lumber so that it can actually hold up over time. And as you can see here, from that, we haven't lost any soil. Of course, that's a relatively small hole. I don't see myself shooting this with uh, 50 BMG just yet, but, um, like I said, if I do my job and uh, hit the bullseye, hit the targets that I'm going to be shooting at, which are mostly going to be steel from now on out, um, the barricade really shouldn't come into play that much except to uh, deflect any uh, back splatter or anything like that. Um, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to focus on my uh, shooting on the, uh, the left chamber, the chamber with the soil in it. Uh, instead of the right chamber, which doesn't have soil in it. It's just a matter of time, that's all. Uh, I'm pressed for time, and uh, any shooting I want to get done, I definitely want to do in a safe manner. But uh, once again, thanks for watching, and once again, let me know what you think about my barricade, my backstop. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.